Hello, hello, hello. Hello. It's time for some tea, baby. It's time for some tea. Under the full moon. It's a beautiful full moon out there. Oh, it's so what do y'all find yourself doing under this beautiful full moon? Hmm? The shadows of the dark. Hmm? What's going on out there? The zombies and the vampires. And the ghouls and the goblins. Come out in the dark. <laughs> Got to find out. About to find out what's bubbling in the cauldron. What's bubbling in the cauldron? I'm going to start off with some Halloween oracles. We're going to move around. I'll let you know what I grab as I grab. And we'll see how we go. Let's see what secrets come out from under this beautiful full moon. Let's see. What are the secrets? Who's hiding what? What's coming out tonight? What's coming out? What are we pulling out for the general collective spirit? You are welcome into the room. What do the general collective, what do they need to know? What are the secrets that are lingering under the moon? Some illumination. Little candle in the dark. Can we get a little candle in the dark? For those creepers, for them jeepers, for them people that hide in the shadows. Deception, addiction. What's coming out tonight? What's coming out tonight? Who's hiding what? What is in the cards? The werewolf is coming out tonight. Exploring wilderness. Exploring wilderness. The beast. The beast is coming out under the full moon. Mm. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. And regret. The ghost of regret. Mm. So this full moon is pulling out emotions. Bringing out people's true inner selves. Seems like somebody can't hide it no more. And the underworld where all things pause and begin again. Death and rebirth. Yep. So we got the werewolf. We got the ghost and we got the underworld, the ghost of regret. Werewolf. Werewolf. Luminosity triggers it. A wild moon, a wild moon rises. Pain and blood and fangs, fur and howling and wolfing guises. 
the werewolf is kind of a shapeshifter. But one that has little that has traditionally had little control over his wildness. In a way, an inner battle between civilization and wild animal nature, nature fights inside the one body, the vitality, strength, and freedom of the animal versus the reason, control, and intellect of the man. Woo! Which one, though, is dominant force? What is the healthy balance between our animal nature, one that is wild, free, and connected to nature, and our radical, civilized humanists separate from our dominant over nature. Mm. The werewolf asks us to consider this balance and to delve into our own idea of wildness, independence, and custodianship of the planet. When is this? When is the last time you spent all day outside? Uh, do you quash the vitality and curiosity of your body and mind by sitting all day in front of a screen? The werewolf challenges you to weave a balance between nature and your own nature. Balance between your dark and your light. Balance between what needs to be done outside, what needs to be done inside. Life needs to be balanced. And then you got the ghost of regret. Like smoke rising from the ashes of mist from the sea, the dead they are watching, they have come to haunt me. Ooh. Um, it is said that the spirits that cannot let go of this world have a reason for this. Sometimes it is worn to warn the living, to guide them, but generally it is because they haven't finished their business. Uh, should the ghost come gliding into your life during divination, it may indicate that you have some regrets to let go of. Holding grudges or regrets is burdensome work, burdensome work, and it weighs us down eventually. By taking action to free ourselves of these old burdens, we clear the way for more rightful and wise action for the future. We can begin to live again fully if we let go of what was and step into new possibilities. Amen. The, the past is no longer, it, it does not exist anymore. There is nothing to you can do there. There's no, nobody that was there or lives there, it's gone, it's in the past. It's the underworld. Where all things pause and begin again. All things pause and begin again. Another realm, shadow filled, travels from the death's bed, where we stop and transform within the realm of the dead. Should the underworld card be present in your reading, you are being asked to consider exactly what you have to do to transform your life into something you find easier or more authentic to you. This may involve changing course. It may involve trials and tests. Keep moving. Whilst things may fall away of your life, may appear bare for a time. This is temporary. Space is being made into which you can create the new. Death and rebirth. Okay. Death and rebirth. And we're going to throw some soul journey. Get some, quite some, some, some little messages from the soul. We got the werewolf coming out tonight under the full moon. Somebody threw colors coming out tonight under the full moon. The regrets, they coming to the surface. And um, there needs to be a death in order for it to be a rebirth. You need to let that shit die. Let it go. Let it go. It's weighing down your soul. You're not going to get no motherfucking wear. No fucking wear. Nowhere. But bitter and alone and rejected and confused and fuck that. Mm -mm -mm. Last place you want to be. Yes, yes.
patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Patience. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Discipline. Through your soul's journey. Can we get a few more? Spirit. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Pride. Seems like all the things you need to learn to be a, a better person. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. If you don't try to change it, then it ain't gonna fucking change. If you don't try to change your life, then it ain't gonna change. If you don't get the fuck up and get it the fuck done, then it ain't going to get the fuck done. If you don't communicate, then ain't nobody going to motherfucking hear you. If you assume that a motherfucker know, then a motherfucker ain't never going to know. Okay? Straight like that. Straight like that. Those are all the things that you need to learn in your fucking life so that you can be a better person. So that you don't be uh, uh, hiding under the motherfucking moon waiting for that bitch to be fooled to let out your true self. Be your true self every motherfucking day. Every day. Whether the beast is asleep or whether the beast is out. You got to be able to control that shit. Don't be fucking weak. You know how many motherfucking bones it takes to turn into that motherfucker right there? Be fucking weak. Weak minded. Do whatever. And then regret that shit later on. For some of you, oh, let me get a few huh. Oh, So for some of you, this is a general collective reading, and therefore it's not going to apply to everyone, okay? If the shoe don't fit, don't create pressure, don't apply pressure to your life, it don't fit, it don't fit. It can be you, it can be your mate, it can be whoever you're thinking about, we in the dark. It can be your family, it can be your kids, it can be whoever, whatever, your mama, your papa, your grandpappy, whoever. Okay? Sister, brothers, everybody is in the pot. Everybody is in the pot. Okay? And we're under a full moon, so nobody, nobody can hide. Okay? Okay.
So for some of you, I feel like that for some of you, you are, you need to be able So for some of you, because you're still living in the past, right? In regret, you're still living in regret. What you coulda, shoulda, woulda, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't, you know, whatever the fuck. Every time you fucked up, every time um, you were supposed to open a gift and you didn't, you know, all the dumb ass shit. All the, all the times that free will Free will won over the gift that you were supposed to receive in that cycle of your life, right? When you was faced with the lesson, you chose free will. And since you chose free will, you probably went and did whatever the fuck. Whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever, baby. Right? So fuck it. You went... You said, I'm not opening shit, right? So your regret is stealing your gifts. It's not letting you see them. It's stealing them. Every time you your free will goes left, and then later on you're wondering what the fuck, yeah, yeah, uh, you fucked up. You lost, you lost a gift. Every time you do it, you lose a gift. Every time you do it, you lose a gift. And so you in regret. And it's inside, and it's killing you. It's killing you because you, you, you're a fucking ghost already. You're a fucking ghost, so it's killing you. Or it's killing you. She ain't all the way gone yet. There are solutions. There are solutions. See it? They solutions, they're green, they're blossoming. It's almost the end of the year and the table are turning. So somebody, for whoever this is out there, for whoever this is out there, that probably tame their beast or better fucking tame it fast. Don't hold your secrets. You under the moon. They coming up regardless. So you might as well come the fuck clean. Tell them I'm a motherfucking werewolf. Rawr. Whatever. Because the regrets are killing you. They're killing you. Be fucking honest. They're killing you. And that's the only way that this cycle is going to end and you're going to be able to for a rebirth. The regrets are still in your gifts. We're not letting you see them. Blocking the shit. There is a solution. Judgment is on his way.
Yes. Judgment. 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 And here, and they waiting. They waiting to hear the results. They waiting to see um, what comes out of it. Santa Claus checking the motherfucking list, crossing out names, see what's up with the what's up. So who been naughty and who been nice? Because it's time for judgment. It's judgment time, motherfuckers. Do you get karma or do you get... <coughs> you get potions or you get needles? What you getting? Okay? Because it's time for judgment. <coughs> it's time for judgment. And it's time for judgment. Um Somebody running their fucking mouth. Uh, it looks like 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 they plotting. Somebody plotting. Oh, somebody. The secret is that somebody is. Oh shit, in the dark. In the dark. This shit came out in the dark. <laughs> um, for some of you, the secret this. This have been in the dark. This coming to the light. Is an offer of love. This shit came up in the dark. So the the, the <laughs> I guess this werewolf <laughs> this werewolf is in love. The werewolf, he's in love. He said, Where the fuck is Bo? <laughs> I'm like I said, I'm gonna fucking we in the dark. I'm coming out right here. This is where I belong any fucking way. Oh Lordy have mercy. So it's a group of people. Somebody's plotting. Somebody's plotting. Look. He plotting. He the only one talking. And they just listen. Well, he plotting. He plotting on giving someone. He plotting on giving someone. Oh yeah, a new love offer, offer of love, and it, it's a secret, but it's coming out because it's he's he's in the moon. You see him in the light. He's in the moon. So under the moon, he gonna let the beast out finally. Under the full moon, it's rawr. Right? And then, and then it's gonna come to the light. 
I guess he's going to let go of that regret. He's going to the underworld. He's going to kill it. He's going to say, fuck it. It's dead. It's over. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Uh, uh, I don't know. That them ghosts might, you know, the way that just came out that way, them ghosts might, he might see his gifts. And he might find a solution. And he's going to cross out them, whatever's on that motherfucking list that ain't going to, you know. And then he came up with a plan. Or she. Gender neutral. You know who you are. You know if the shoe fit. Well, if you're the person that this secret is being held from, you may not know yet. But it's coming. The secret is about to come to the motherfucking surface. Let's see. Change. You got change. You got, uh, they dealt with the pride. They have having patience. They now have discipline. Maybe, hopefully, God willing. Tame the beast. Dealt with the regret. Okie dokie. Can we get a few more for the general collective? For the general collective. Can we get a few more? Spirit. A few more for the general collective. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Death twice. Death. Death. Something has to die. The ego, death of the ego, death of the pride, death of, um, um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta close that darkness. You gotta, you have to, uh, not close it, um, tame it, you know, tame it, tame it, deal with it, understand what the fuck, why the fuck. It's under the moon, you know, the secrets under the moon and all that. You got to deal with all that shit. You got to deal with all that shit in order to change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You got to get the fuck out. Somebody's stuck on some dumb ass shit. Somebody's stuck on some dumb ass shit. Oh, wait, this goes over here. My bad. Yep. Something gotta die to be reborn. You need patience. Look, patience. Temperance. Death. Death twice. Ghost. Twice. Fucking people lingering, people be fucking people be on some dumb ass shit. When they there's so many ways to do shit. If you do that shit the dumb ass way, make that shit hard as fuck. <laughs> hard as fuck. And life don't even gotta be that hard. If you really an adult and you fucking communicate clearly, clearly. Without no missing pieces, without no sugar coat, without no sideline shit, without no fake ass shit, without no lying ass shit. Lying ass shit. Because if you don't say the whole motherfucking truth, then you lying, motherfucker. What the fuck? All that shit. And the dark shit. Yeah, somebody needs to balance all that shit. Discipline, pride. Put all the right spices up in that motherfucker in order to get this shit right. You're going to have to put all that shit. You, you got to measure that shit. Make sure that shit is copacetic. Oh, motherfucker. I don't know. I don't think you want to bring that shit back to the dead. From the dead. You trying to bring that shit back from the dead. You better motherfucking make sure that motherfucking, um, that sauce is correct. Yeah. I don't want no bullshit. Gotta make sure that shit is correct. Because. 
There's a lot of under the moon, sneaky shit, quiet shit. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, and it is emotions. And it is emotions because it's potions and it's potions. So you're going to have to climb the motherfucking tower to get her. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh, I be fucking killing myself. And, oh, Lord. Okay. Motherfuckers like to play games, right? Motherfuckers love to play games. And be sneaky and all the stupid shit and all the extra shit, right? Okay, bitch. But since you want to have secrets, right? Since you want to have secrets, whoever the fuck this is want to have secrets. And now you want to offer your cup of love, right? Now you want to offer some love. And you all excited and all this dumb ass shit, right? Right? Motherfucker don't even know what the fuck. Then thought this shit is dead. Done. Dead. Fuck it. I'm going to reinvent the whole motherfucking situation. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody thought something was dead. Dead. Fuck that. Right? Trying to re... re Bring it back to life. Or, 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 or. It's temperance. No tem oh, yeah. Uh, it's temperance, so it's patience. Okay, okay. So, uh, somebody thought some shit was dead or something needs to die. Something needs to die in order to have a death and rebirth. Right? So you have to have patience in order to bring it back to life. For you, you know. But that shit gotta be correct. Every motherfucking little drop gotta be correct. Because if it ain't, it ain't gonna work. So, if you coming for whoever the fuck is in the tower... And she in that bitch. She in that tower. She's still in that bitch. She see the moon. She see all her thing from up there. But she she up there. She up there. Or he up there. Whoever the fuck is in the tower. If you coming for this motherfucker. You better come correct. You better come correct. Because while that person been in that tower... She done level way the fuck up. To the high priestess. Okay. So. She can see what the fuck is behind the veil. She know way more than you motherfucking think. And ain't nobody got to tell her shit. She may not have all the motherfucking pieces, but she can see clearly. Her intuition is on motherfucking point. She ain't no motherfucking... Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Come correct. Yep. Somebody straight, straight. Their energy straight took over the whole reading. It. it I. All right, I'm going to let you have it. Whoever this is, is taking over my reading and making it into a love reading in the middle of under the full moon. You cute.
you rude because we was going in the cauldron and you over here all on some, you know, bubbly shit. With some bubbly shit. Look at you. Look at you. You want some bubbly shit all up in my reading. Anyway. You better fucking come correct for whoever is coming for whoever they coming for. Whoever over here plotting and scheming on this new love. I mean, it can even be a, it can be an engagement. It can be, um, it's, 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 it's new love. It's, you know, like, that's really how it is. And I'm not going to sit here and change it around because I can feel that it's new love. Like, it's an offer of love. And because he's happy about it. Look at him. He's over the moon in love. Yeah. But the other person is in the tower. The other person is in the tower. And she ain't no flunky. And she ain't no whack ass bitch. She's the high priestess. You can't come to her with no dumbass, half-ass, dumbass stories and bullshit and extra shit. You need to come straight forward, grown the fuck up, man the fuck up, woman the fuck up. Uh, correct. Correct. Ain't none of that. I'm going to say this and I'm not going to say that. No. No. Because it's all going to come to the light. And if you want to, since you took over my fucking reading, if you want to have the Ten of Cups... If you want to have the Ten of Potions. If you really want to have the Ten of Potions. Then you need to come correct. Put that shit all out there on the motherfucking table. So can't no motherfucking ghost come out, and out of the past and bite you in your ass. And you know, you ain't got to stay in your fucking head. And you can move the fuck on. And she can know exactly who the fuck you are. Or he can know exactly who the fuck you are. Because all this shit, all this hidden, this is bullshit. It's, you, you can't get a ten of cups. Out of inside your regret, and then you know, it, uh, and it, no, no. So you gotta kill all that shit, ego, pride. Um, you gotta uh, 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 accept the part you played, accept, accept it. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. I love myself, and I see myself in everyone, which means you don't need to be jealous, envious, none of that. Nobody has nothing that you can't or won't or if you set your mind to whatever the fuck you set your mind to in this lifetime, you can accomplish it. It is up to you how you want to accomplish what you want to accomplish. But you can't half-ass life and expect full potential. You can't expect 10 cups if you not fucking put in, 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 in the fucking anything. The discipline and, and, and your pride and your patience and change. Shit change every fucking day. Every fucking day. Every day you got a new opportunity. So stop being sneaky, freaky, whatever the fuck is going on with you. Because <laughs> we in the dark and I don't know why there's love in the dark. I mean, that well, there is love in the dark. There's love everywhere. <laughs> Actually. Actually, but it was rude. I was trying to get into the nitty gritty. I'm trying to get in the cauldron. And in the cauldron is bubbling over with emotions. Great. So, for whoever that is. Oh, you had a wake up call. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh Jesus crackers. <laughs> you got to keep on, right? Because I was going to just go ahead. But I'm going to go ahead. All right. So somebody had a wake up call. So his, you know, bright idea, wake up call. I'm going to go ahead and bring in that love offer. And now the person's all excited. Yeah, he had a wake up call. Had a moment. Wake up call. Something. Hopefully, 
Hopefully the ego died. Hopefully the pride and the and the worry about who and what the fuck and when the fuck when this is your motherfucking life and whatever is in your motherfucking life and happens with your motherfucking life is your motherfucking life. So whatever dies, it dies in your life. Capiche? Had a wake up call. When they rolled out with darkest, remember? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back, go back. I think it's called potions and poisons or something like that, and you'll get you'll get a, a great understanding of what the hell I'm talking about. And subscribe and like if it resonates with you. Please like, please subscribe if you want to leave me a little comment. That'll be nice. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And for my subscribers, thank you for coming back. You know, um, I thought we was getting some 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 nitty gritty. But we got some love instead. Somebody got a wake up call from when they rolled out back then with that dark bottle, remember? Yeah, that motherfucker. He got a wake up call. He got a motherfucking wake up call. Maybe somebody, uh, older got in their ear let them know what the fuck is the what the fuck you know like what are you doing they might have had like an ancestor show up in a dream they may have ran into something that gave them an epiphany like oh my god what am i doing um yeah it could have been the divine it could have been an actual person an older person that illuminated something that they didn't see before but this person whether it's you or it's your person, they coming in with a proposal. It don't have to be a proposal. It's a proposal. I didn't want to get into all this love shit. But it's a proposal. It's a proposal. This person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Someone, I think somebody helped them cure their heartbreak. Somebody mature or something, maybe. In divine timing. The message is coming, though. The message is coming. It said, don't kill the messenger. <laughs> It said, don't kill the messenger. It said, don't kill the messenger. And I'm going to throw, uh, I'm going to throw, uh, what are these? These little dolls. Shadow and light. Okay. So we'll throw a couple shadow and lights, and then I'm out of here because I really went over time. The reading took a, on a life of its own. Uh, the energy, it took over everything. I thought we was gonna get some 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 creepy crawlers, you know, out of the woodwork, and instead we got some the vampire ready to give you a motherfucking <laughs> vampire about to get somebody a proposal. So I don't know. Should you you got a van? You the wolf, the vampire, somebody coming out this motherfucker. Let's see what happens. Shadow and light, can we get? Okay, let's see who we got. We got Angel of Time. Okay. So for some of you, you're working too hard. You're working too hard. You're working too hard. So part of your problem is that you're working too hard. Uh... The other one you got is Sea Storm. Calm and chaos. Calm and chaos. So you need to balance. You need to balance. You need to have a place of calm. You need to have a place with you you see when she comes up She's in all that chaos, the storm. She's in the storm. When she go in, it's calm. You understand? 
I hope you understand my metaphor because I'm going to leave it right there. Okay. And the wings here, you see clearly. You see clearly now, clairvoyance. Okay, so whoever it is, yes, there's an offer of love coming in. Uh, somebody had a, a awakening. Um, there had to be a death in order for it to be a rebirth. And um, yeah, during that death and rebirth, it looks like there was a lot of change. A lot of change, a lot of, um, uh, you know, digging up them old ghosts and, 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 and they done crack their bones. They, they done, yeah, they, they broke wide open. This person had an awakening. Somebody had an awakening and now they plotting to come in with some kind of love offer. Okay, so that's for some of you. That's for some of you. Y'all have a good night. That was your tea from the cauldron. I guess somebody is about to get love. <laughs> Maybe it's from the werewolf. Maybe it's from the vampire. Don't let them suck you dry. <laughs> good night.